Welcome back to Giant Monster Games. Today, we are altering Ponder. Ponder is a blue sorcery that costs one blue mana and reads, look at the top three cards of your library, put them back in any order, you may shuffle your library, draw a card. So basically what we have here is a card that allows us to scry three and then draw a card. That is absolutely bananas. So much so that this card is actually banned in modern currently and restricted in vintage. At this point, you're probably asking yourself, why are we doing an altar on a card that is largely banned in the formats that you largely talk about on this channel? Well, my giant monster watching minions, it's because this card sees a ton of play in both Commander and in Legacy. Let me explain. Starting out with Commander, if your Commander is blue, you're probably gonna play Ponder. There is no reason not to play a card that's gonna give you Scry plus card advantage, it cantrips with itself, and it only costs one blue mana. If you don't play this, it's kind of like not playing Counterspell. Moving on to Legacy, I'm not gonna pretend that I know much about Legacy seeing as how I don't actually play Legacy, but most of my research has shown that this card is largely played in Delver of Secrets decks, because you can set up what card is gonna be flipped when Delver of Secrets is on the table, and you also get to draw a card, so look at three, take one you want, leave one so Delver of Secrets transforms. Pretty rad idea. So let's quickly talk about why this card is banned. So Ponder and Preordain both got banned at the same time, mostly because Wizards of the Coast was scared of creating a modern format that was driven by combo decks. Both of these cards allow combo players to set up their combo very fast. It's the same reason why Sensei's Divining Top was banned. Being able to control the top of your deck to a finite degree is really, really powerful. Let me move on to the actual altar now. As you have probably clued in by this point, this is not your average border extension altar or your add stuff outside of the borders altar, which I've done a couple of them in the past. For this altar, I wanted to push myself quite a bit farther than I have in the past. I've never done an altar on this scale, so this seemed like a perfect opportunity. Before I even picked up my paintbrush, I came up with a plan on what I wanted this thing to look like. I printed that off as line art, and then, as you saw way back ago, I ended up imprinting that onto the card with a pencil and some graphite on the back of the piece of paper, and then I kind of paint by number that a little bit, where I added in the details that I needed to add in. One big trick when trying to create depth is things in the back should be lighter and less saturated, where things in the foreground should be more contrasty, so they should be have brighter whites and darker darks, and they should be more saturated. So trying to work that into a painting that is two and a half by three and a half inches is really freaking hard. So that was my large overcoming for this piece. And that concludes our altar of Ponder. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you want to see more content just like this. Until next time, don't forget to game like a giant monster. Thanks for watching MTG Altered on Giant Monster Games. While you're here, take a look at some of the videos I've done in the past.